And at some point, uh, Mr. Perelman, when, when you had an idea of starting the Perelman Music Program, did you have some kind of uh, conversation with Ms. DeLay, how it should be developed? And uh... when, Toby, you started, so I don't know if you talked to her. Yeah, about that. I talked to her about everything. And some of the things that she told me, I did what she said. And some of the things I didn't do. And everything I didn't do, I regretted later. She was right about everything. <laughs> <laughs> but she was extremely helpful in those beginning couple of years because I had no idea what I was doing. The music part of it, I did. I actually did have a vision and so on. But how to do it, I had no experience. I, I, I didn't know anything. And she was enormously helpful. And tell, tell us a little bit about uh, your program because it's it's been already 26 years, right? Yeah, yeah. I recently saw this wonderful video you put together. Everyone is playing uh, uh, Mendelssohn Aktiat. It was just yeah. incredible. How many players were there on the video? 40. Former students, teachers, present students, everyone. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Perelman is playing. Yeah. Yeah, we just sent an, we sent an email to all of our alum, you know, and, and 140 people answered. So but in a way, you know, it wouldn't happen, if, I think, if it was not for pandemic. So in a way, it was even a better way to celebrate and to bring people together, in, in a sense. Because yeah. I think this, this video was just incredible, how yeah. musically, I'm not saying only technically everyone played, but it was really a sense that everyone is doing this in, in one room. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It, I, I'm, I'm amazed. I'm amazed at how it, it turned out. I mean, it's quite incredible. Yeah. It's quite incredible. Yeah. And I, I know a couple of people, and actually my former student also went to your program, and it's very special. And I think uh, what is unique, you try to bring these young uh, musicians to the sense that it's not only the violin playing. I've seen uh, some of the documentary when you listen to the old recordings and you try to, to discuss with them, how is it different? So, because unfortunately some of the young players, they're not so much interested anymore in, in the older generation of the players, but I think it's essential to hear them, to understand what is the language they were trying to use and how they were expressive. And also about the singing, the chorus of the program, I think it's just amazing what you do there. Well, that's, 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 that's your idea, you know, you, you, you know, everything that looks a little bit unusual and fantastic, it's her idea. No, it's, <laughs> it's really true. It takes a village. It's, it, it, we have wonderful faculty and we, we do have a point of view. And part of the point of view is that although it's very competitive to get into the program, because we usually have very few openings because people are allowed to stay through their 18th summer. So usually it's just a few spaces. But once you're in, you're in. And we try to diffuse competition. We don't just say it. We try to really do it. And I think it, I, I mean, it's been many years now. I think it works. I think they get it. He has a rule about Studio Class, which I think is a great rule, which is that everybody in the class and then they go around and they discuss the performance has to has to say something nice before they make a criticism. And I think that's a great rule because that's what you, you wanna hear something nice about yourself after you've just played. It's true, it's true. And, and one of the nice things is for me as a teacher that I always am very flattered is that when people repeat what I said in a couple of lessons ago and I said, oh, they actually heard me. That's nice. <laughs> it's very nice, you know, but it's really true. You know, you want to hear, and, and also after a concert, when you go backstage, if you hear a friend of yours play and so on and so forth, and, and no matter how they played, the first thing they want to hear is, I love the way you played, or I love, you know, how you did that second movement, you know, it was wonderful, you know, and, and, and if you feel that you are not a good friend, if you don't say anything, there are always going to be opportunities later, but right away after you have performed, people want to hear something nice. 
that's really important, you know. And uh, and I think that one of the nice things about uh, the pro music program and you know Toby's philosophy is that everybody really is a fan of you know people support each other and you know we have this thing called whips which is called works in progress mm -hmm. and sometimes you know sometimes for me sometimes somebody's very very nervous and it's not very very good you should see how people go backstage and they give them the support and you know the and, and so on and so forth and they cry with them and so on and so forth because people get you know uh, very upset if something doesn't go right and so on that for me is the most important thing. It's it's for for that what makes PMP so special is not so much what you play, but it's your humanity. Is you know how you you know how you treat your fellow student, your 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 friend, and so on. That's really very very important. 